Y'all say some encouraging words to the artists. Don't ever give up. You gotta push through it all. And if you really, really want it, just don't stop. It is. I took a pause, but I ain't stopped. It is. He pushed the tears out of me, but I ain't stopped. Because he said something that meant to me. He said, everybody else going to be doing local showcases, but you getting ready for Germany and Grammys. And that's what it is. So don't stop. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. You can do it. Just push yourself. When you feel like giving up, you got to push harder. <sighs> Crucial, I tell you, this wasn't no joke. <sighs> that's what I like to see. Doing this for my team, for my family, for my kids, for my circle. We in this. And I thank you, Crucial, for being here, getting this moment and pushing me. I heard you, but I didn't want to hear you. <laughs> 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 I'm like, shut up. You do it. <laughs> Get over here before he cussed me out because I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. <laughs> even the little girl out here on her birthday, yo. Mm, getting it in. That's a serious birthday present for you. And she was singing. You heard her? Yup. Head up to my car, give it to you. We're done! Let's go! He said he got a surprise for me. He said what? Come and tell the people. Dominique Mitchell said he got a surprise for me. He said when you work hard, you get videos, et cetera, et cetera. So he told me to head to his car. So I'm running. I'll catch you there in a second. Now the time when the person worked hard in boot camp. We give them special things. So, I'm going to email this to you. So when you perform on stage, and you want to blow everybody out on stage, way before you even get on stage, this be the first song that you for your show. You don't even have to be on the stage. Just let it drop. This is your... going down. Book me a session queen. I got a stupid banger. Dominique, thank you so much. So much. Thank you so much. You work hard. As soon as you get it to me, I have it back to you <coughs> ASAP. Alright, no doubt. Hey, shh, it's over. Take over. Got it. It's close to the Okay. Get ready to go in for a studio session. With Lil' J Crime Off. Peace. Lil' J with Crime Off. No, Jay on the track. What's up? You already know what it is. It's your girl, Deb, Queen of the Cat in the building. Crucifix Productions in the building. ARE in the building. We are live right now in the studio with Little Jay, the producer who has produced the album for Crime Wild. As you can see, they got the plaques going on in here. They got the ASCAP plaques. Shouts out to Princess right here. It's her little. CD she got going on, got all the ass cap going on. Lil' J, can I get you to peek your head in here? So my haters can see that it's real. We really doing this shit. 
<laughs> oh, you already know what it is. I, I, you already know if you know Lil J. If you know Lil J, mm -hmm. you know what's going down, man. We stray on the EasyJesus.com, man. Honey Dip in the building with Lil J. Classic. And we gonna get in that gin and juice tonight, man. And we finna put down some real work. See y'all stay tuned. Y'all gonna see it in the booth. Y'all gonna see it writing. We gonna start from the ground up and make a hit, man. Cause it's Lil J in the building. You feel what I'm saying? You see them right there? Bam. Already. Let's do it, man. You already know. <laughs> it's going down. Oh, mama in the building. <laughs> she don't play. No building. game. Oh. Oh. Jay, what's this? The, um, you know how work this cushion do? Uh, uh, nobody know how to work that. Uh uh. Nobody know how to work that right now. You got to show me something on this motherfucker, boy. She got the internet and everything on that motherfucker. Cursor. Oh, yeah. You huh? got to do your show. Feel free to go, man. I feel you. I feel you. We did it. We did the beat. It wasn't no bells in there. Well, it was some bells in there, but it no, wasn't like the nuts. The oh, the, yeah, the little bag. Okay. Like, if y'all heard the first uh, Crime Mob album. It was that, that Nuck of Your Butt was your, originally on two other beats. So I'm like, man, we put it on that one. That ain't the one. At that, at that time, I was on the only one on it. And then I wrote Princess it. got on it. And then Jock got on He wrote his verse or whatever. So I'm like, man, this ain't the beat. This ain't the beat. So I'm goddamn fucking around the studio. We finna go to six class for real. So I made this beat with five beat number three. It's like in 2000. Two, mm. you know what I'm saying, and it took us like two years, or really a year, to promote it, and then fuck around with the labels and all that stuff to the point where we got signed. So goddamn, like no, I'm like, I made the beat. I'm like, man, this the one. Like that hook go with that beat, so it got to be a marriage. Mm -hmm. So I already had my verse, and then Princess had her verse. So Jock come around like, man, 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 I got to get on that Nucky Buck because I was just sending it out. I was just sending the CDs. It wasn't no MySpace back then, no emails mm -hmm. and all this stuff. No MP3s, none, none, of, that, none of that stuff. Right. So we would get a CD out in Ellenwood. We would throw parts and stuff. They're like, man, I got to get on that Nucky Buck. Mm -hmm. So Jock got on. Psycho got on. He went to jail. Diamond just, you know. Walked in the picture. She, Walked in the picture, you feel me? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had to do that. Right. You know, with that pen. And while we had this, we had this show, man, is at the warehouse. They don't even got the warehouse no more. It was downtown Atlanta. And usually when they play songs back in the day, it was like Scrappy, Trillville. And we knew if Crime Mall was next, then okay we gonna get out of because they had already had they did mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so then it was like damn so they playing nugget bucks so then you know what i'm saying we started doing shows but this time the big heads were there the dudes in the suits mm -hmm. bme Lil john all them in the suits like okay we're gonna check out these little young 16 year old dudes rapping in the warehouse sold out you know what i'm saying Okay, so Scrappy go on. Okay, head boss, we some head boss. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then it was trivial. Get on my level. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll never forget, dog. The security guard was walking past me. And he like, man, we got to tool up because it's going to get crazy in him. Nucky V. Buck is next. Introduced to the stage, crime mob. Nucky V. Buck, that bitch came on. I'm talking about everybody. <laughs> and you walk, and you walk. The crazy thing about that is that me and my homeboy, we went to, to the BME, to Lil John office. Mm -hmm. He doing all the paperwork, all the, you know, uh, marketing and all that stuff. So we walk up in there six months before that show that I just said. He said, man, I'm, I'm walking in there with my home. I'm like, man, we trying to get signed. We got some. I got the beats, we got the songs and all that stuff, we got a group. So he like, man, we got Scrappy and Trillville, so we ain't gonna sign nobody from five to, to five years from now. I said, five years? I said, shit. So six months after that meeting, they at the show, they call us in like, hey, we gotta sign y'all. I was like, oh, okay, oh, okay, okay, now y'all wanna sign us. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? So Scrappy was doing the Rap City thing and the BET thing and all that stuff. And we just went in. You know what I'm saying? And after that, everything just took off. You know what I'm saying? That first album was so great making that album because we were doing shows. We were going overseas. We were going to Memphis, St. Louis, New York, L.A., Chicago, all kind of cities, man. You know what I'm saying? But it was great. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the up-and-coming artists coming up because this right here you got to learn. You got to watch out who you sign to. You got to watch out who you put your trust in because this is your livelihood. This is your life. This is... Your dream. Now, the street niggas always say the rap game is worse than the dope game. Because mm -hmm. they more shy still. Because that's black and white. On the street, you know, you might get in the fight or pull out a tool or, you know, fuck me up on the package or something like that. But when they come to that rap game, man, they might, you might be signed to a, to a piece of paper of black and white for years. I can't never get out of that motherfucker because you signed it. And we were 16, 17, 18, still in high school. And it was what it was. You know what I'm saying? So after that, second album. Then after that, you know, the girls started they do. clashing. You know how girls it. Like, mm -hmm. niggas, we can get over shit. Like, mm -hmm. dog, you know, roasted <laughs> on me on the track. Like, all right, we can fight about it, talk shit about it. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, the girls, they can't help. I don't want to be in the hotel room with you. I don't want to be in the goddamn <laughs> van with you. Right. Uh, none of that shit. Right. And we have millions of dollars on the table. Reality show, all that shit lined up. You know what I'm saying? But y'all can ask me them questions later because we got to get to this music. So y'all stay tuned for the Lil J exclusive. Hey. You know what I'm saying? The exclusive, man. So... Y'all just check me out, man. Right now. Scrabble gave me this. Or whatever. I bought this one. They said this worth about 3000 but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Scrabble. Shout out to Scrabble. I still love that, man. <laughs> His homo was here last, this morning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Down there, hey man, pool table in the crib studio downstairs, man. Shout out to my big homie, Lil J, man. Crime off all day, man. I'm representing A Town, Charlotte, North Carolina, Fishy D, the Cherokee, 
You already know, man. Fish with DJ for Honey Dip, man. ARE is definitely in the building. You already see, you see little J over here. You see him over here. Sticking his hand. My God, I can't let him be too long right now. It's going down. Uh oh. Oh man, that's the second strike in the row, man. That's two. <laughs> I said Jinx on the table, man. Right here, 
side. And uh, it's bang. Mama, the pen. Hold that unit.